Oh, hey everyone! Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your captain, Leland, tonight, along with. Penis and first mate, Drakir, at your service. Who is confused about what peanut gallery? <laughs> no, Drakir was just saying that uh, I'm doing all the hard work whilst he's just sitting there <laughs> in luxury, just looking along. <laughs> so uh, I said, he is the peanut gallery. 
And the, I don't know the exact origins, but I'm guessing it's a reference to the audience in uh, baseball games. Because uh, in America, you have it often that, uh, the, or you had it at least, those sellers who would go through the stands selling things like bags of peanuts and such. I think it's from there. That That's my guess. <clears throat> I'm going to have to look at art. For, I feel like I, that might be something else. But we don't double check it before I say it. Since right. I, I'm sure we can say the term nowadays, but it involves the circus. Okay. Uh, actually, would not be surprised at all if it comes from that with people yeah, pelting people with uh, peanuts. I uh, did not I would... try to go for alliteration there. I thought, about, I thought more of a sense. I think peanut came before popcorn. Uh, either way, though, welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, the sixth stream. And we are currently in Mexico in the Temple of the Sun. Uh, okay, those Wait. could be piranhas. Or... Uh, those could be piranhas. Yeah, those should be piranhas, for we are in the right country now for that. Well, at least uh, could they somewhat correct continent. I don't know if they are around in Mexico. Oh, yeah, these look a lot more like the stereotypical uh, piranhas and such. So, what the hell were the other fish that we were dealing with in the previous region? Probably something that uh, occupied a similar niche. You know, Probably. a carnivor very carnivorous fish. All right. Uh... I don't think that's the right answer. Okay. And also, already on sixth episode. Yep. Going pretty quick, what huh? The heck? Yeah, do we... Well, do we, it does kind of make sense. We, we did have some areas we get we got almost stuck on. Yeah. Okay, there's a passage through underneath here. That is completely sealed off. Okay, so whatever... Oh, wait, we have a water key. So we can take a good guess as to where that is... <clears throat> where that is required. <clears throat> Pardon? Yeah. I've been oddly burpy lately, and I don't think it's because of the dentist stuff. Which was earlier today, and luckily this time I seem to have uh, recovered from everything a lot faster. Probably this because it wasn't good. as big a cavity, a cavity being filled, so a lot less... Uh, Manhandling of my mouth to be done. Yeah. <laughs> and also, don't forget, uh, thank you for the follow, Jingle Fox VT. Oh, I actually missed that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the I, follow, I, I, Ginger Fox VT. Oh, I hello. I told you that earlier, but uh, yeah, we had a lot of things happening during the intro. <laughs> We are uh, in the ninth level, and only now we get to deal with snakes. Oh, he's too happy, ain't he? Uh, I, I, I don't actually know if uh, Indy is supposed to be afraid of snakes, or if he's just similar like me, utterly disgusted by them for some reason or another. Almost phobia level. Okay. So Almost. he is... Yeah, so he is pretty afraid of him. Let's see. No, not enough for him to panic and run away. But he really does not like them. And he will try to avoid them if possible. Or shoot them if needed. Sounds a lot like what I want to do with spiders whenever I run across them. But he already ran across it, so don't need to shoot it. Okay, I very much that one did you this jump. Nope. Nope. Didn't even actually hurt there. Now what is this hole for? Hmm. Okay, is there something we're missing here? But uh, yeah, basically has the, he has the same reaction to snakes that I have to spiders. As in, nope, nope, <laughs> nope it with a flamethrower. Yeah, and there's a good reason for that. Something from the, the young Indiana Jones series, I'm guessing? 
that as well, but I think that Dodge Red came out for a more better version that makes more sense in the Crystal Skull. Okay. That he landed in a box full of them. That yeah. he had he was forced to hide inside. Oh, we have a switch here. Can we actually pull? Okay, <laughs> that's the first switch actually on the water that we pulled. Is it going to drain the place? Oops. Okay, let's bring that up. And then we can get across with that. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's see. But, uh, yeah, I... What I came to realize now, or today more, was that the pain that I was having, supposedly from the uh, dental work itself, wasn't from it, but more from <laughs> more from the stuff around it. Like, yeah, <laughs> the muscles in my mouth do not like being, yeah, just worked around so much. So they were just sore the entire fucking time, I think. Yeah. yeah, I don't think our muscle shows are taking the build for that. Okay. Going to need to shimmy around here, it seems. Well, yeah, what hurt most this time afterwards was uh, actually the injection site from one of the anesthesia needles. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I... I said, I'm kind of glad that us in Europe don't use the kind you usually see in American movies. And... Uh, some kind of morphine, I think? Yeah, morphine is addictive. I'm, I don't actually yeah. know if it was that or not, but I'm going to presume it isn't, because oh. yeah, the risk of addiction. I think that is the kind of common for... Dentist, in, at least in most of the world, to not use it. Like they, they have it, but only in dire circumstances when it's extremely needed. But yeah, otherwise, they will not. They will use something else. I think it. Okay, I might be wrong here. I might be wrong here. But I think it is only mostly used a lot in USA. That is where you hear the most about morphine being used as a sedative or a painkiller. Yeah, and that always confused me. I, I kind of hope that ah. the, the one the part we see in movies is kind of a lie, that they don't use it that much. But then again, we have TikTokers, which makes me worried. <laughs> what you are you are you trying to say that TikTok or TikTokers are created by morphine overdose or something? Oh no 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 no! M many people who have recorded someone after the dentist and put okay. it on TikTok. Yeah, that sort of stuff. Yeah, mm. enough. I put enough so that it makes you worried. Yeah, but those are really heavy sedated. So yeah, that could be morphine maybe. Uh, neither of us has any sort of uh, degree in medicine or anything, so do not take a single word of this as fact. We are just speculating whilst Indy is uh, doing his work getting around the place. Yeah, I want to know a little about the morphine part due to I have asked others about this and was told that it's extremely rarely used and mostly avoided for the all better there are sedatives nowadays that he is almost replacing it completely. Stay alert. The Americanians may already be here. He's a smart one, that fellow. That's why we summoned Spiatsnaz. Our previous security detachment failed us. Make sure you don't. Now, Beritje Pozitje. I get the feeling that meant take your positions or something. We're in position. Yeah, it seems they are here again. This is interesting. And we've got a fish. And we've actually got sun in the Temple of the Sun now. 
Okay. But now we're dealing with pet nas, it seems. Though they go down just as easily. <laughs> Maybe even more easy. I What's think this? other I think the previous soldiers needed a shot or two from the nine millimeter. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Or maybe, a... maybe there is just uh, directional damage or something because we shot them from up above, getting headshots or something. Also possible. Also, are those really the correct uniform? Probably not, but it makes them distinct enough to tell apart from the typical soldiers. Yeah, yes, it looks odd. Like, <clears throat> the, the rest looks like. Aren't there four? A Gamberson? Wait, isn't this the start? Uh, you, can, you can ask his dead bill. <laughs> now, I, I'm pretty sure this is the start since there was this a door this large there as well, I think. And yeah, this is back at the start. Okay. <laughs> So this also says that these side paths are required to a degree, it seems. So does, does that mean now that we have to go all the way back around to get to... Uh, to get back to that room? It wasn't that long ago, ago but still. Yeah, what the... Okay, where the... Where the hell did that one come from? Probably uh, the ceiling. It, it must have dropped down when the trap op there opened up or something. Okay. <clears throat> hey, the probably came over to investigate who the heck broke the web. Come back here, you. And hello, shotgun. A gun. <laughs> Nothing specific to say about it, okay. Uh, let me see. That is not number seven, which is the AK something. Okay, eighth is the shotgun. This looks like a pretty typical uh, American style pump action hey, hey. shotgun. Hey, Here we go. Hmm. Okay, back here. We took some shots, but we could have taken a lot more. I was about to actually say that we haven't seen anyone with a Mauser in a while yet. But apparently now we have it. Okay, we have gone through the fish room. Or trial or whatever they want to call it. What is over this way then? Uh, more danger. Yeah, more spiders from the looks of it. Okay. Still, Spider-Man E are kind of impressive. Yeah, in the material loop. How did, how the fuck did you get in here? <laughs> this base was locked until just minutes ago. Yeah, too bad he didn't set up the trap. Then again, it's only one directional. Yeah. Uh, as a material, spiderweb is very impressive since it, it's tensile strength, uh, which is basically the poles. If you take one end and the other uh, in your hands and then try to pull it apart along its length, is that's a, in that way it is as strong or stronger than steel actually, comparatively. It is still utterly tiny for that, so it will very easily break in your hands. But if you yeah. were to get yourself a cable of steel in the same diameter or uh, pack enough webbing together to make a rope uh, <clears throat> thick enough to be a cable, uh, yeah, this the steel would break before the, the web would. Or the silk would be a better word. Yeah, and ancient Greece used it to make armor. Okay. And you, you can see in the, the more modern depiction of spotted armor that looks almost like leather. I might have, but I'm not sure. But it's not leather, though. It's linen, spiderweb, 
And I forgot the rest of the materials. Okay. I did use something as glue to put the weapon for it was layered of uh, several materials to make it a, a surprisingly hard and, and good quality armor. I only know it was linen and spiderweb. I forgot what the rest were. Hmm. Probably other types of cloth. Uh, let's see. We've got three of these statuettes now, but we never found one over here, I think. Or we completely missed it. So, let's go take a look. I forgot about the trap. And that means we have to redo a bit of that. Oh, for love of all alien. Okay, really? let's quickly load it up again. <laughs> really? Okay, at the very least, this time when we get to the cutscene, we don't jump down, since there's no need to. 16 minutes in, and he is already having big time failing like the last episode. Okay, grapple on to Aztec Sobek snout. Yeah, oh, before I forget, something fun that has happened, which I think I mentioned to Helen earlier. No stream. I mentioned about Chaos Dwarfs of Warhammer. <laughs> yeah, and bad. a few hours on this today, today as uh, we stream this, uh, for like maybe two hours ago now, perhaps? Probably. They released the trailer for the Chaos Dwarfs DLC for Total Warhammer 3. Yeah, the timing. <laughs> yeah, along with the character, uh, the lead of the Chaos Dwarfs as well, in it. The one he was talking about. <laughs> Stay alert. The Americanich may already be here. He's a smart one, that fellow. That's why we summoned Spear Snarls. Our previous security detachment failed us. Make sure you don't. Now, Beritia Pozici! They look... odd. Like... Yeah, something doesn't seem right. What happened here? It looks like they're wearing a bulletproof vest or a bullet resistant vest, more accurate. Or for a skin yeah. suit. Yeah, but the vest looks off. It looks like it's from wrong era. Here we go, this shortcut. It, it looks like a, a style of uh, Gamberson. Ooh. Just extremely small. What the heck was that? Did he just. Gr Did you call that a grunt? <laughs> yeah, that would probably be there. Okay. okay. That one at least sounded like he said words. Okay, pick up the mouser. Now, we have the fish. We know that this one is really easy yeah. to get. Just fight a, a Russian, climb up a place, and grab the thing. And dodge the trap. Before Actually, I forget about another one. Uh, don't forget to say him. Yeah. Stoy. There we go. Let's grab the Ammo. So is there anything hidden in this alcove? A rather wide alcove. I'm presuming that's the, at the edge of the pyramid over here. Due to the... Uh, <clears throat> due to how the roof goes like this here. So uh, uh, we'll grab the trin... Uh, we'll grab the tr trinkets and then we'll save. And then yeah. we go look where the hell that's bird one is yeah oh before we forget uh we, we played a few 505 games correct recently a valuable artifact uh see if you're cleaner ones yeah apparently they made all support tonight or publishing it okay i remember that one we 
played that for a very short while as a sort of test to see if it would be a re good replacement for Pixart, I believe. I was going to play it together, but yeah, there were some issues with the multiplayer. I don't remember and... the specifics of it, but yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't really that fun to begin with. I found at least. I thought it was okay-ish, but the thing that was most was the. It was hard to play multiplayer due to the disconnection. I got worse than more players you had. Oh, yeah, and that was it, what happened. And also, it crashed my computer. Not to this new computer, though. However, I did notice something else that made me concerned. Oh? It made my work, computer work more than needed. I could, I could hear it. I have a, something that makes sure the fast that it worked too much. But I could see here the fans almost thought they wanted to whistle. Okay, yeah. That's, that's probably something similar with what is happening at the moment with how the game seems to be eating up a lot of processing power because, well, the whole uh, slow motion thing that is going on a lot with me here. Yeah, do I have no lag? Yours. Do I know the graphic card I'm using has a flaw that makes it have easier time to whistle. So my little brother got something to tell it to blow a bit more before it gets that hot, so it doesn't work too much later. Okay. But okay. still, when you look at Portal Knight, it you 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 don't see a game that should be doing that. That is where we're supposed to go. I, for a moment, I, for a moment, I thought, wait, isn't this where we entered this place? But no. Oh okay. dear. Also, not issue I found with the Portal Knight when I try to see settings for load the graphic and such. There is none. Okay. Like you can adjust the your screen size, VSync, and some bloom, but you can't put. A low, medium, or high graphic. Hmm. At all. And that surprised hey. me. I think that's the first emerald we found. Ooh. But no. Yeah, we found rubies and sapphires, but I'm not sure if we found any emeralds before. Uh, I think you have. But due to you died a few times, you started ignoring it. Could be, yeah. Kind of like, yeah, I don't care for this, uh, this anymore. I just want to get this done. Uh, yeah, that was probably the case. Okay. Uh, we should probably stock up on some poison kits uh, once we're finished in this place. Oh, for the love of all. I my brain. What did you think now? What did you think you heard? Does it I, I know what you said, but my brain still misheard you. Again, mental mental use of poison kids. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Don't play with poison, people. Especially yeah. kids should not be played with poison. Uh, let's see. How do we progress from here? Because this doesn't feel like an side bit. Seeing as it's attaching to the same shaft that is going through the place here. We need to get up there somehow. Uh, let's... Is there something we can jump through from, to from here? I don't think there is. Oh, act actually, okay, this, this was a little bit hidden here. I only really noticed it because of the line between the textures. Okay. <clears throat> oh dear. Now, I think there was something I wanted to say, but I, as usual, I, I'm pretty sure I've forgotten it already. Um, I would not be surprised. Sometimes you just need the right word to help you remember. Nope. The, the current word is fuck off spider. Did you just notice this what you did? 
You run it over. Or run, you, you run across it. Let's see. Ambush spiders. Look okay. what I found. Some Actually medicine. thought the game wasn't going to be giving us many more uh, many more of those. That is why I wanted to stock up on them. Okay. Okay, sounds like we should save. Were we supposed to find? There it is. Okay. For I, for a moment, I thought we were back in the lower room, but oh yeah, there's definitely a bird. It looks a bit like a chicken, actually. Uh, this looks interesting. And with that, all of them are open, I think. Look at that. That was bright. Also, a bit interesting here. The the. <laughs> What they were actually sitting on was the same type of switch that we pulled on the underwater bits. No. Okay. Yeah. No way we are dropping down that without shattering a few dozen bones. And don't forget to say here. See? That caught me by surprise. Okay, I think there is one more, but we'll deal with them if we come across them. For now, yeah, the, the normal pistol will do with these uh, eight-legged assholes. They're not saved. Okay. Oh, all right. I was just to say, watch him regret not saving in three, two, one. <laughs> Okay. Now that these now that this place is entirely lit up, actually, I think uh, I I think I have a good idea of what the, we are supposed to do now. We are supposed to give that thing a mirror, and then shine light in a specific direction. These pedestals look like a three-part shrine, but where are the idols? Well, you're holding them, Jones. Oh, and we have nice little show signs to show which where. This is where the chicken one goes. I suspect you did this a little bit in wrong order. <laughs> Bad. And the fish goes here. Fish. Yeah, I, I, I wait, think what? we're supposed to go in here. And figure, learned that we had to find these, but then again, they're on the door as well. So that's yep. also a good sign of you need to go to the other places first. Yeah. That's a jaguar. Okay, let's lower down there. And now he needs a mirror. So can we take a pot shot at anyone? No. Uh, how did we even get... Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask, how did we get down there again? And, well, we got down there basically the same way as we did the first time. One more. Okay. Smart guy. Not so smart now. Okay. Yeah, we need a mirror to reflect the light. Because when has there ever been a sun temple without a light puzzle with mirrors? Several? Mm, not too many at the very least, I believe. Now, just take your gun. Your gun. I feel like there's many, but again... I really haven't played that many games where... You enter many temples with puzzles. True. Uh, let's see. 
There was one around here about. Yep. There's their gun still. Give me that. Okay. And yeah, now we just need to get up. Get Actually, I think the mirror was... There was a mirror uh, where the uh, fish idol was. I thought we were supposed to shine something up on that. Oh. It didn't get us the first time, and it wasn't going to get me this time oh. either. Even, but I, even though I almost did run into it. Okay. Oh, love of... What do you want to get yourself crushed against the roof? <laughs> no. <laughs> Luckily enough, not. Okay. Yeah, I was literally sitting here. They seriously decided to stand on the damn truck. They almost crushed him. Oh, let me realize. Oh, it's a trap M elevator. Okay. Hmm, you can't get that, in there. Okay. That's a combo I don't hear every day. And you use a trap as an elevator. Yeah, the, it has. A, it's done a few times in. Some of the games I've played, I can't, hmm, I can't fully bring one to mind at the moment, but it isn't a completely unused trope or idea. Yeah, I would maybe, maybe we should call it a rare one. Hmm. On a note with that, people, don't go what they call elevator surfing, which is to well somehow get inside of an elevator shaft on top of an elevator uh, because there's a good chance it will just crush you. That's called elevator surfing. Yep. Oh dear. Yeah, the only ones that's supposed to be on top of it are the elevator workers. And even then, that's when they are completely set still. Yeah. An odd house probably may be someone that needs to escape it, but then again, it should be still. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Just going to grab the last bit of my uh, Kinder chocolate bar, you, I guess you could call it. Yeah, it's kin Kinder as in the brands. It's like, yeah, egg, the chocolate eggs that are completely banned in uh, America because they were quote unquote choking hazards because people are too dumb to get the toy eggs out of this chocolate egg. Yeah, I, I never had a problem with them as a kid. Hmm. Apparently, also, they sell massive ones of those now as well. Massive? Yeah, oh, like. Dear. Uh, I have a photo of one in my hand, and it, yeah, I I can't wrap my hand around it, so that is some says something. Uh, they do cost five euros each, though. Oh. So yeah, they are pricey. Yeah, no, then is it is a little chocolate and a toy as well, I guess. Yep. Then it would sort of make sense. You pay for the candy and the toy. Yep. Okay, one left. Probably hiding somewhere beneath us. Okay. In the meantime, I, I, let's actually use this. I just remember, as a kid, we had a one of those, you know, those, those old school metal so boxes. I know we'd like to get our hands on that. I had a mirror. But yeah, the, this box was originally meant for cookies, but we reused one for. All the damn Kinder Egg toys we had. <laughs> it was filled almost to the brim with them. We actually had a collection for a time. The... Do you remember a series of toys they had with them, which uh, were basically miniature sculptures? If you placed them one way, they looked like an animal. If you placed them a different way, it looked like a, a gnome or like a garden gnome. Do you, do you remember anything like that? Not those. I mostly remember they had some that were dinosaur themed, Disney themed, and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, we had we had a good collection of those at one point. 
and yeah <laughs> we actually sold it to some people uh, to, to a collector who paid quite a bit for it holy and dr jones is not blind <laughs> Uh, he caught that being right in the face. Okay. And this is going to be end of level? Yes, it is. Okay. A lot more compact, but it was also just one big puzzle. Okay. Um, oh, did, did you investigate what the treasure chest does? Uh, not yet, actually. Uh, let's add a few of these. And um, I'm trying to think of a spot where we could put in the secret map if it does immediately start the level. Actually, let me just Google it right now. Yeah, that's why I said we should have done that after the stream so we know for sure. Yeah, but uh, neither of us tends to remember things we say during the middle of it. Uh, let's see. Secret map. Okay. That's that. that. Okay. That. Okay. Bonus level. Yes, of course. Uh, fuck off with your cookie bullshits. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. You get to play when you have acquired enough money to purchase a secret map from the adventurous outpost. Um. Hmm. Doesn't really say if it starts immediately or if it just adds on to the end of the game. Hmm. If we had, if we put a save right before that, we could have tested it right now. But. Yeah, let, let's do that at the end of the next level. Here we go. Five poison kits. Then we can see if it immediately starts or not. Oh, my. Kitty. Where am I? Unmapped territory for sure. But I'll bet Azrum found it long before I did. What? what kind of kit is that? That's a jaguar, I'm pretty sure. I, I hope it's a jaguar. But this doesn't look like a tiger. Okay. Uh, we are in the wrong continent for tigers. Let's see. A uh, jaguar or a cheetah? Aren't uh, cheetahs in Africa? Cheetahs are in Africa. I think, uh, I think Jaguars are the only feline in South America. Though... Aren't we in Central America? Do they have Jaguars in Central But they yes. probably do, but... Maybe don't they anymore, and... Uh, snake? Okay, hardy snake. Okay, it's another case of chasing them off, it seems. Okay, that saves okay. us at least trying to fight them. I think they're supposed to be a Jaguar, but I feel like they... Uh... Yeah, it looks more like a cheetah. How to say this? Looks like they almost make it look like... The cheetah from the Cheetos. Chester Cheeto. I think his that is actually Chester. his name. He's, his first name at the very least is Chester. Okay, he, he dares come a lot closer before we need to scare him. Before we get to scare him off, I think we need to actually shoot in his its direction. Let's see. Yeah, but yeah, I think they supposed to done a sheet. Uh, no, no, a jaguar just. Just a just with the shark, they kind of failed. Yeah, <laughs> but then again, this is from '99, so 
the information was a bit more limited back then. Not as easily uh, spread. I don't know. There Maybe were books still, far. Helian. There were still books. True. Uh, what was that about? I just gone too far? Pick up an animal book to see what's the difference between a cheetah and a jaguar. Yeah, but they might not have even known <laughs> that uh, they were. <laughs> they live in different areas, or misunderstood where each lived. Okay, there we go. I think I think it, it, they are jaguars, just badly designed. Like you remember the sharks? Yeah. So I think jaguars are supposed to be more, a lot more black or something. Oh, that, that, that's a different jaguar. They, they can be black, yes, it's... It's apparently a rarity. It's a little a bit of a boom mutation, if I'm, I remember right. Okay, because generally you see them depicted hmm, as completely... Uh, with, uh, with, as having completely black fur. Hello. Okay, at least it does only a little damage. Probably a lot less than it actually should do with those claws and all that. Yeah, they, they seem to have got some things right. Okay, we can't yes. find that. Yeah, I, I, I see it. one of the uh, problems. Where I saw a good look at his face and look, actually decent from some angles, but. I think I know what they made wrong here. An idol. Another derpy face. Less that the more of... They made it too small. Am <sighs> I uh, right? They get bigger than that. Like... They don't get big as tigers. But I think they get... Almost as big as the lions. Again, almost. Okay. Yeah, this one, this way. I feel like they did this one accidentally cheetah sized. Hence, yeah, the, like my brain is getting big. Wait, what? <laughs> that makes them look a lot more like a cheetah than they should. Yeah, by accident. But they have all the characteristics that, that is supposed to be there for a jaguar. Just the size they have done a little bit wrong there. Let's see, no hidden goodies. And they also gave them a little bit of a sl slimmer pelvis area, which is also a sheet of thing. Sends Jaguar a bit more muscular. So I guess you could say these ones look like or the Jaguars. Okay, where did we end up? Olmec? <laughs> you were thinking of that show as well? Oh, the, the, the Olmec statue over there. <laughs> uh, I, I was thinking of that. Uh, I never actually saw it myself, but I'm pretty sure I've seen uh, a video or two from... Uh, from Spoonie about uh, a show that had one of its characters <laughs> was a living Olmec statue called, well, Olmec. So, this is very obviously going to be a trap. It's a monumental Olmec head. So that's who lived here in Azurum's day. Yeah. Okay, I don't think anything about all mechs, unless they... Whoa. Yes? Seriously? Now heads? After him? Now what? Well, with these coins he can flip if he gets heads or tails. Though, the old mech have already gotten heads. Oh dear god. Right, I want to say is, but unless it, is it, last time I uh, 
read about Olmecs or try to watch about them. Not much is known of the, them. Are we? It's very limited. Okay. They are old and Aztec and Mayans, if I remember right. Just very limited things about them have survived. And it is very hard to find their cities in the jungles. But the, those jungles oh, are it. damn good at hiding things. That extended the bridge. Which is wait, two wait, snakes wait. kissing. Oh, damn it. I was to do something a similar yoke. Okay. Let's head back up and get across this time. I'm keeping the pistol drawn just in case of ambush spiders. Yeah, uh, but I, I should probably uh, tomorrow see if there's any new information about the Olmec. Okay. So I feel like for a while was the almost only thing they had info about was the heads. Similar to the uh, Easter statues and such, which... Yeah, however, the people of the East Islands had more surviving information than the Olmecs. I'm pretty sure they also dug out a few and found that it isn't just heads. There are entire statues underneath. Yeah, and I've seen people do memes on that. That you see a head, down the ground you see a big flex king body. So basically oh, the Diglett meme. Oh yeah, they did that to Diglett as well. I forgot that. Oh wait. Uh, there is a Pokemon that looks like East Island heads uh, on there. Uh, nose pass. What's this? All right. I did not like that Pokemon. See? Mostly because I feel like nose pass Really? <laughs> it's a compass with, uh, well, it is a rock, it is a rock with a compass for a nose. Uh, oh. I thought, I thought it was something else as a kid, but still, I feel like this pong is too much. A bonk. What? Okay, we need to find a second switch to get that one open then. Did, did he just fart? <laughs> no, that was the sound of his body hitting the ground. Alright, so I guess the sound glitched up a bit then. Okay, where could this next switch be then? Let's see, somewhere near here. Okay, I was, I was expecting to fall into an abyss there, but no. Okay. Old. Let's see. Last time, I, I think we talked a bit about uh, imitation gold coins and such. And I. We did. I'm not sure what sort of style specifically I would prefer mine to be if I were to ever you know, commission them or buy them somewhere. So really? I'm thinking at, I'm thinking at least uh, one of them would be like a, one or a few would be like the uh, coins from the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> almost, a, almost a joke about that. I was faking. Uh, we could also do it like uh, the Aztec toy from the Pirates of the Caribbean, but I bloody knew it. Uh, not just because, uh, not just because of the movie, but from what I remember, it was also a pretty interesting design that they had. I heard snake. You mean um, Aztec skulls? I, I might be misremembering how it actually looks. Uh. It, but yeah, was Aztec skulls, and I, I actually have the movies. Not all of them, but most of them. Hmm. I, I should probably investigate how it's going with the new movie. Dance. Jack Black. Jack. No, no, not Jack Black. No. <laughs> no. 
Yoni Depp. Why did I say Jack Black? Uh, maybe because of the Mario movie where he plays Bowser, which is probably the only reason I'm going to look, go yeah, to go watch that movie. Only sure, but yeah, I think last time I heard of the new Post Grieving movie, Johnny Depp is allowed to come back as Jack Sparrow again. Okay. And I think we I think we heard Disney actually apologize to him. Yeah, since it came out that, uh... Oop. Okay, Old Mac uses headbutt. It's not very effective. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the whole thing with Amber Heard, it came out that she was the abuser, after all. Uh, yeah, he fully deserves to be fully apologized to. It, it won't make up for all of the money he, he'll have lost because of them, uh... Yeah, kicking him out with a bunch of movies. Oh. I almost feel that we get stuck there. That won't work. Uh, hmm. Are we trapped in here now? Oh, the hope not. But yeah, what do you see? Is at least a start. Yeah. Hmm. And I feel like the, because of there's been many, the many right people uh, posted the whole thing about court. Uh, apparently, a lot of them actually ended up somehow on. Try not to laugh videos. Uh, let's see. This no tells me here. if you're such a bad liar, you end up in try not to laugh videos in a court. <laughs> that that's bad. How are we to get out of this? Yeah, good question. Probably also a good idea to uh, jump out of that topic. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there anything to see? Hmm. Do you need to slide in a coin? That won't work. Okay. I'm pretty sure this shard here means that we couldn't pull it this way anyways. And yeah, we need it it's it's lined up for the next of the Olmec buttons, as I'll call them, simply. And oh hello there. I had the right idea, just not the right location. There we go. What's this? I I could see people missing that a lot. Uh, we've lost, we've missed quite a bit throughout the game so far. And we'll probably miss more. No. Uh, what is. Oh, we're on the other side here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> For a moment I thought, what the hell was growling there? It's the Jaguars. <clears throat> Wait, are in here? No, down there. <laughs> okay, we almost hit the cat with a big ass rock. Okay, that jaguar looks correct sized. Almost. Oh. Wait, what? Hmm? Did it change size? I don't know. I was focusing more on the on the big head. Well, that ought to do it. There we go. Second bridge. And now kiss. Hello. Okay, they're catching up. Uh oh. And this time it's not just guys in uh, green skin suits and sweaters. Don't run in the drinking water! Rude! Let's see, do we have anything around here? Yeah, there's another uh, button. Hmm. And a bridge. Let's see. 
The Omec is going to get alliance from there, I'm pretty sure. I don't see any way for us to get up. So we'll just have to cross the bridge, or the bridges, and uh, see where we end up. Hmm. To be honest, I, <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting that we'd make this much progress in this game. I was more expecting that we would get stuck on parts for quite a bit longer, even though we did look up some stuff. Yeah, the... you did get st quite stuck on a certain uh, river level. Yeah, just going round and round and round and round and round, like a record baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that song. I kind of have a love and hate relation to that song. I actually made a, a like over ten years ago. I made like a clip from the Evil Genius set to that music. Oh good God! And speaking of old uploads. Uh, we we discovered earlier today that uh, yeah I already knew that there was a specific video of mine that it was the best for performing on my uh, channel and it isn't one of this it isn't any of the stream uploads or any of the videos from the time that I from the time that I did let's plays but it's it's actually <laughs> a clip of a song it, it's actually the uh, song at the end of Armed and Dangerous clipped out and just that and it has 8,000 views <laughs> uh, yeah. across 11 years still oh dear gods yeah I actually went to look it up on YouTube and yeah it was first on the list yeah, it's because it's both the oldest and the highest quality of that time at the bit. There was another you know, version of it without the visuals that was uploaded 11 years ago as well. But yeah, that's a lot lower quality from what I'd say. But then again, I might just be biased towards my own work. I think I saw that one, but I don't think that one was from for living. That one, I think that one was from two years ago. Hmm. I'm pretty sure the one that I, I I saw multiple, and one of them was also said to be from 11 years ago, but it was just a static okay. image on the background, which makes sense, of course, since it makes it take up less space than the actual moving bit stuff. Let's see, do I want to go back for those dead ammo? Let's go back for that ammo. <laughs> Just be careful. Hmm. The funny thing is that actually we don't really need too much ammo since the nine mm pistol already seems to be doing quite you know, to be dealing with enemies quite effectively. Hello. Uh, but yeah. yeah, it's still good to just have a bunch. Or if we do get into a big firefight eventually. Yeah, but you want to be a longer range and more quicker fire uh, power. Yeah. And I think at least one of the bosses does actually need to be fought and it isn't just a puzzle. Well, technically we also fought the ice elemental, or whatever it was. But I was using the tool that we found. Yeah. This makes me wonder, what kind of monsters will we meet here? Let's see. Like, I might have a guess for the boss. Since I have a suspicion that developers will be that evil, I guess, indie, with this certain boss. But what there is before the boss is a question mark. That would have been a big drop to go through. Here we go. There. 
Okay, let's actually put down a save again, just to be certain. Not in too much danger of getting killed or just falling off a place, but just in case of possible crashes, still a good idea. Yeah, we have the two crashes so far. I don't like saying Maybe like I might yink us. Or one of us will yink it. Let's see. No, we need to go that way. I do like that the map actually shows where you need to go as well. <clears throat> and a lot of the games probably wouldn't have done that. And it does help uh, ease things up as to where the hell we need to go. We just need to figure out what we need to do when we get there. Like now, because I'm seeing a dead end. Or uh, we need to get across up, up top, I'm guessing. Hmm. Very likely. Okay. Also, so far, with uh, none of the none of the uploaded streams, which by now has been all of them, uh, none of the streams of the, this game so far have gotten any copyright claims. Hmm. Which honestly, I'd actually expected that at least one of them would have gotten a claim because, yeah, companies and their bots are just assholes. That's surprisingly not. Hmm. Let's see, we need to get across here. But it is an old game. It, that's not, not music here to begin with. Yeah, but the Indiana Jones theme. I mean, more that. Yeah. Can we climb? There we go. Okay, I was thinking we can't grab onto the ledge back there, so we can't grab onto it here. But I was proven wrong. Just knowing a little bit in the design that you can't grab onto one spot or one half, but not the other. <clears throat> Let's see. Hmm, only an hour so far. It feels like we've been going for a, like uh, an hour and a half to almost two so far. I, I, I'm going to split on that one, but I feel the mix of either it's been longer or been shorter. Okay, no and I'm going to grab some more water, so, well, you know the drill. Don't die. Mm. Yeah. Or at least safe before I do. There's something going to happen here. It's probably another water puzzle of sorts. Uh, first, let me check if there's anything in the water. Gonna grab some water. Hmm. I'm going to guess that that block is in the skull is going to get ejected somehow, and we have the Olmec head here. Anything at all? Okay, a movable block. Okay. No collectibles here at all. And I'm back. Welcome back. Is there going to be a flow here blocking us? Nope. Okay. Air pockets locked in enough. Actually, I don't. That doesn't really count as an air pocket since it's completely out, out uh, exposed to the open. Uh, yeah. Air hole. And okay, this just leads out as well. Okay, we'll have to go climbing and see where we end up from there. Also, this might just be nostalgia talking, but I I do like the interface of this game a lot. With uh, the circles for health and air, and for the magic charge as well. 
Okay, it is weird. It, it's a lot more interesting Lesson? than just a, a straight bar. Yeah, definitely. Like, straight balls are good, but they sometimes can take up way, way too hmm. much space. Okay, now going this way, since the bridge isn't out yet, we're extended out. Also, I'm pretty sure if they could have gotten away with it, they would have done the inventory exactly the same as Tomb Raider. And we talked about the similarities between this game and the Tomb Raider games at the start. That we and, uh, did. Uh, yeah, <laughs> apparently I wasn't the only one who noticed that. Because it was in IGN's review of this game as well. That they drew a line that he drew lines between Tomb Raider and this game. Where the hell do we? I mean, back, back when it ever trustworthy or recently? Yeah, uh, back in the day. All right. Hmm. I actually didn't want. I I actually didn't visit IGN sites that much, if at all, back in the day. I. Uh, the place I usually frequented for gaming news and reviews was uh, GameTrailers.com. Though so eventually I started noticing uh, this doesn't really line up with that and all. And yeah, I just stopped looking there as well. I never watched any of those. I, I only got to know about IGN in recent years. I thought, okay. And. I'm out here. How did I miss that? Uh, yeah, gaming journalism is its own can of worms. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, interesting design. Back and forth, back and forth. Hmm. Oop. Oop, the snoot. Okay, that drains the place out. Now, what are we to do with that block there? Also, what is the safest way down from here? So you need to... Move the snoot. And fill the place up again. It's kind of counterintuitive. I think it's here. No, 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 no. It's a slope. No, down you down. need to boop the big snoot. I actually thought that it would cause us to slide, but no, okay. Now then, we have the old mech head. Yeah, the big snoot. Oh, wait, wasn't there a, a plate keeping this to the left shot before? Hmm. Are you sure? <coughs> uh, okay. When is this going? Yeah, when is this thing going to <laughs> cross over the ancient banana and start sh and just shoot out? What? Is it his snoot? No, push your hand up his nostril. There's no room to maneuver. <coughs> I'm out of room here. Okay, I think I see what we need to do now that it is in place there and the previous plate got blown out by the water pressure or something. We just need to put the pressure back on. Uh-oh. So yeah, we need to jump back and forth again. Actually, we need to be below for this. Uh, can we actually reach it? Now then, um, go in here. Hmm. Okay, how do we get up? How do we get back up there? It is way too high to actually reach by jumping. We can't get that block in here or <clears throat> to. Oop. Get us a bit up, uh, uh, a bit higher up. Hmm. Pardon? Pardon? 
for love of pardon again I think I swallowed too much air Can't move you any further. There's no room to maneuver. Hmm. Is, some, is there something in the way that we need to remove? Without the water, we can't get up high enough to turn the water back on, I think. I don't think this, that the head likes you anymore. Hmm. We're missing something. <clears throat> Wait. Oh, wait, no, it should probably be the Olmec head for you need to shoot it out. Is there a different way of getting to the button? Hmm. This just leads to the bridge, so this shouldn't lead to anywhere useful at the moment. Hmm. Is there anything hidden down here? Yeah, just a very precarious step. Oh, oh that was close. Yeah, luckily enough, when we walk like this, uh, he doesn't go over ledges. You hmm. went over the ledge or landed on another ledge. Let's see. There's no whip climb point or anything, it's... Wait. Hmm. Oh. Let's see, we have one hole here, we have one in the middle. Is there a third here? No. Did we make a third? No. Hmm. Okay, how do we get back up there to... Is there something we need to do? Something? Wait. No, I, I thought maybe that would give enough of a push to force it out or anything, but no. Hmm. Actually, how far up does this go? Wait, I heard something. I actually checked. Oh, yep. Yeah. This climbs back up to there. To the button. <laughs> okay. I, sh I should have kept an eye out for that. Or at least where this was going. <clears throat> okay. That's a few minutes wasted, but at least we didn't have to go look things up again. Oh, back Oh, wait. There you go. Is it here? You know, with headphones on. Welcome back. Yeah, it was my mother I heard, and she just got home and wanted to say good night. Okay. Boop again. Oh, now I know what that why that thing looks so familiar. And there we go. No need to push this one around. It immediately gets blasted into position. Yeah, wait, 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 can we take a look at that skull thing? Okay, a moment. And, okay, now that plate is back in place. Okay. Yeah, now let, let's get up and look at the waterfall thingy. Uh, skull waterfall thingy. Uh, yep, 
Definitely you when you find some very tasty mushroom stew. And I suspect yeah. some of you thought I would do some uh, more... ...other kind of joke, but no, I'm not... ...not gonna make that kind of jokes uh, on Hillian. Let's see. Go. Mm, I, I do like a, I do like a decent uh, mushroom soup every now and then. Not uh, frequently. I, I still prefer tomato soup over pretty much everything else. But I think that is basically the basic for everyone on the planet, if, or at uh, least the majority. Uh, <clears throat> um. Uh. Um. Uh, well, you see, um, I don't think I'd like to make you soup. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, hypothesis uh, is disproven. You see, yeah. <laughs> I, I only recently started to like soup. For, for a long time, I just saw soup as weird drink. Technically, it is, if it is uh, very thin. Let's see. I don't think we need that, that middle there as a punchline. That you, yeah, you trying soup is considered adventurous. Chanta, considering I used to be very picky. <laughs> okay, uh, owl. Hoot hoot. Bring me to Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can go uh, along with Hootie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, people. That, that that one was too easy to do. I could not resist. No real reason to be doing this, but oh well. Uh, also, oh. let's actually put a save again. Oh no. Here comes another pun. The doctor got your tongue? Nah, uh, the joke is, can't got your tongue. I know, just... Look Does this look like a cat to you? No, this looks like a, <laughs> a professor in archaeology and history. Yeah, oh wait. There is a Dr. Yoke here. <laughs> Say ah. Yeah, then you put uh, one of those... Thermostats? What is it? Thermometers? Uh, yeah, thermometer is the word. I was thinking of the mode of the stick thing. Uh, but I also... Put down a stick uh, to hold your tongue down, so they can inspect if there's any discoloration in your tongue. Okay. I do... Uh, I have heard that uh, discoloration in the tongue is a good way to uh, identify some poisons and such. And... Yeah, they're also a good way to investigate for swollenness. I don't know what these sticks are called, but they look like... You know the sticks you find on some ice creams? Yeah, but bigger than that. Yeah. I think there are... Hmm. But nah, I was thinking of stir sticks for like paint and such, but I'm pretty sure they would uh, have more official and sterilized versions of that. Yeah, and uh, probably they... Pr actually, yeah, I think they threw those away afterwards since... Well... well sweat, this might move. A little sweat. Hmm. Uh, that didn't quite work. Okay. I guess I will put some winter hmm. clothing that on Hillian and turn on the heaters. Hmm. Like this. Hmm. Okay. That didn't quite work. 
It refuses to use that on it. So, do we need to find some way to weaken it? Hmm. Let's see this. Just move it. Oh, that opens up that door. I was expecting it to actually close this one. Oh, dear. Let's see. Anything in here? Nope. Just some coins. What's this? Finally. Now we have some extra quarters to play some arcade games. I don't think I ever played many arcade games. Uh, I know at, at least two occasions that I went to an arcade and played some games. Uh, one of them I don't remember anything of the name of any this thing, but I think it was a possible co-op game where you had to run through a cactus field or something, only the camera would stick back. So it would become harder and harder to keep dodging cactuses as your character got further and further away. Okay. And, um, another time, I, pl I was... Uh, I think I was playing one of the Time Crisis uh, art, art, yeah, cabinets. I think it was 2. Yeah, Time Crisis 2, I think it was. Uh, I think I tried one of the old Tekken arcades in another game that only in recent years finally got to know the name of. For I was very fascinated for years to come about it. Okay. And it's called Primal Rage. Okay, that. And yeah. Much easier to push over when we have a better angle of it on it. Well, that ought to do it. Okay. Actually, and... I forgot it. I hope that some of people pick up the IP and renew Primal Rage. For the story and concept, it, it, it is rather unique. Yeah, that is the game with uh, the werewolf and such, right? No, that's that's Rampage. Okay. There's only a movie of that one. Yeah, which wasn't too liked, I think. Uh, what? People loved it. Okay. Yeah. Though it did deviate from the original a lot since Rampage. Yeah, the, the characters are people turned into monsters. So basically, if they were to done it correctly, the rock should have turned into the gorilla. Instead of uh, them making King Kong lights. Yeah. King Kong Zero. Yeah, however, I think I know the reason behind it, since in the old games, they did eat people to regain health, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see the problem there right away. Uh, best to avoid any chance of even as much as an, uh, a hint of possible cannibalism. Yeah, and if, well, even the end of the movie was a reference to the game. For each character had, it, had their uh, different humor for the game hell. I think Lizzie was men in tuxedos. And the ape, which I forgot the name of, was women in red dress, and I forgot what the werewolf went for. And the villain of the movie was, of course, a woman in the end with a red dress. But yeah, easy to see why they changed a little bit and needed to modernize it. Yeah. And we've and also, also talked about this before, that... Uh... One issue that video game movies have is that how much do they stick with uh, stuff from the games and such, and how much do they not? Yeah, like, some things is good, but then depends how you do it, like... In some games, instead of replicating the game itself, take the characters and have them on a different adventure, which becomes part of the lore. 
he has, he has re tried to recreate a game story into a movie, which may not always work out. Or rather, I usually don't work out. Yeah. Hmm. I still think there would be plenty of people who would like to see a Mass Effect uh, movie sometime. Oh, yeah. Brain. Sit. You say Mass Effect, and my brain somehow went to another game. Uh, okay, uh, which one then? Oh, Brian, what was it called again? They, 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 they recently made a remake. Dead Space? Dead Space, thank you. My brain went to Dead Space. Yeah, there, there are and a lot of games that could work as a, a movie, a movie version, similar to like uh, books and the movie versions. But the... uh, books to movies are probably easier, sort of. Hmm. But, but the, the issue we have, the issue you often have with movies as well, is that a hard time limit of typically an hour and a half or two hours. So it, it gets hours. very hard to put uh, a lot of stuff in. Yeah, do for recent years, two hours is easier. It says more and more me movies are made two hours long. Yeah. That is so good. And so people. Away. Some people have wasted up to the day of uh, doing trilogies. Aha! An hey. idol. Whoa! Okay, now the pyramids. Why and... am I getting this creepy feeling? Oh, totally not a boss why. arena, huh? Oh dear. Uh, so, uh, Dead Space had mo at least one animated movie, and it, if I remember right, it, it was decent. And that one was more of adding to the lore of Dead Space. Yeah. In general, I think that is probably the best way to go at the. Uh, movies like uh, to go at it with movies to have it be supplementary instead of uh, just you know retelling what has already been done it opened. yeah and whatever you do is probably the worst case you can do is try to retell it and fail one. at it like uh, the unsheltered movie did apparently yeah. Like they just used Moment. the names, but I skipped out the collection of why the characters uh, liked each other. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know enough about the Uncharted uh, games to really give a, an opinion on that. Plus, I also haven't seen it. But I can say that the moment it came out, I just didn't hear anything of it after again. That typically yeah. isn't too much of a good sign. Also, hello. hate snakes especially big ones yeah and this snake spit snakes <laughs> that yeah okay i i knew that the things should have been here it was i kind of suspected that developers would be that evil but Okay, luckily it isn't I too bright. It looks kind of derpy. Yeah. Like, the yellow design of it is good. But it does almost look like they designed its head way too much like the statues. Okay, you just go in there, go on the pressure switch. Okay, I oh, can't tell if it's... Hmm. Let's just try and get on this thing and get the thing up top before it goes down again. Okay, I, I don't know if we needed to go over it ourselves or if we needed to lure the snake over it, but uh, Aha. here's the third part. 
Here's what I'm looking for. Another part of the Babylonian machine. And judging by the glyphs, it even comes with instructions. Let's see. Harken mortal. Verily does my device raise man on high. If you doubt, seek but the jewels of heaven. Why are these inscriptions always so damn poetic? Uh, because that was the trend at the time. Uh, let's see. Uh, good thing to pause us here. They also it, parts. I mean, it, even the poetic stuff was also a. I'd say a security on itself. Mm -hmm. Like it, it would basically mean. A, a smart person would understand uh, what it means. Meanwhile, a complete idiot wouldn't. And yeah, that's what the thing does. <laughs> it's a, it's an elevator tool. Okay, and that is how we need to uh, shish kebab ourselves a snake. Let's see. And it vomits snakes. Like, I feel like they just tried to make it more, more like a nightmare fuel for Indy. Like his own specifically designed hell. Yeah. Uh, come on over. You kind of look like a stick, so uh, uh, here's an actual stick. Okay, and we just have to repeat that a few times, I'm pretty sure. Also, the quick key for this one is E. E. As in, this is going to be easy once... Oh. Can we still get it on that? Don't the think so. Very... I know most, most cults around the world have their own type of fairies, but... Why is this a European fairy? Here. Yeah, I think it's more supposed to be just a person with wings. I'm going to keep the pistol out. Yep, because of that. Luckily, they die easily. And also, luckily, this thing is too dumb to avoid the spikes. <laughs> Okay, W is for the invisibility thing. I just had a flashback from to Warmer. No. There's a thing called. Oh, was it? No, I thought it was it called Shrine or Show Soap Tech or something. Just they have a dinosaur. They put some wheel construction of it that have pipes. Yep, they send it out so you can combat. <laughs> And out of the pipes come a swarm of snakes. And of course, the big snake explodes into smaller snakes. <laughs> uh, now just comes out more and more snakes from the pipes. Magically. There we go. Now, time to get out of this place. So yeah, now we have a, a very destructive... Uh, Forgotten this freaking name again, and I forgot to put a save down. Oop, that. Ah. Smatritavarishchi, we've captured a jungle animal. Careful now, he's a magnificent specimen. Oh dear God, what they had. That did not make the villain's face any favors. <laughs> yeah. It looked like his eyes are inside his glasses. Uh, again, it is uh, 99. Yeah, no, I see them around this time two people with glasses just fine. Th this one, I feel they just went a bit more cartoony with. Okay, uh, we've got a good amount of heal stuff. We have seven trauma kits and we have ten big medicinal herbs. So on healing, uh, we, we are short on the small healing bits or items. But on the big healing items, we are good. We have 17 full heals. Holy... Uh, oh no, you forgot to save, didn't you? 
Uh, yeah, so... Hmm. The map is actually gone here now. I don't think it's supposed to... I don't think it... that. I don't think it's going to be gone for good. There's just one specific reason why it's unavailable here. And yeah, we'll see that in a second. On the VI Budovkin? 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 Something like that. Yeah, we've been captured, and of course, all of our guns are gone. And all of our treasure as well. <laughs> they only left us the bloody chalk to play with. They still do healing. Of course so, they put you-know-who on the wall. Yeah. Okay. Our objective, of course, is to get out, get our stuff, and get off the boat. Yet, Nazad! Quick, get me up on deck. I think I'm gonna be seasick. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Okay, that's not going to work. Let's see. My crossbed? Are they actually dumb enough? Can we break this? Hey, it's Arose, unlocked. are you... Oh. oh, it's not even locked. <laughs> Your first response was to punch a giant lock. Is there just <laughs> yeah. saying you could just unhook it? Really? Yes. <laughs> oh, Helian. <laughs> okay, so uh, Indiana Jones does Metal Gear Solid. Oh, good gods. Okay. Hmm. Escape due to some people's... Some people being qu quite stupid to not lock it. You know, we, are, we haven't actually escaped yet, since there's actually no open side to this. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we can convince them that we've escaped. this button is not going to work this door is locked yeah so once again we play knock knock jokes and we just get out of sight out of mind out of cell Stop. Now, I don't know if we can actually take him on by beating the hell out of him, but let's give it a shot at least. So, yeah. Level 11, point one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, there's our answer. Oh. We just get instantly knocked the fuck out. Okay, let's see if they fall for it again. Probably will. Stop. Okay, and we just get the hell out. Actually, we can lock him in. Bye bye. Enjoy your onboard entertainment in the form of a picture. Now then, we Alien. need to go find our stuff. Really? Alien, really? Are you any idea how out of context that might be taken? What can't be taken out of context? Oh, there's another guy over there. Point taken. Point taken. Oh, there's one of our tools. It's the invisibility one. Which I actually thought was the magnet one because of the red and white, or no red and blue parts. Oh. 
drink. Part number two. Now you see it. Now you know. Okay. One item down. A bunch more to go. It's nothing in here. I do like that they <laughs> they gave it, they went out of their way to give Indy his jacket back for this. Pretty sure we're going to need to use this thing to actually get around. So, yeah, now the game is a stealth game. Oh, gee, her. Nothing there. Get plenty of charge. There we go. And remember, these are ports of a big machine. And my yep. trusted law firm, Smith & Wesson. My whip. I really don't feel like myself without it. A machete. Okay. okay. Well, so much for stealth. Tobarishi. John's Obijal. What? Retake him immediately. Alive if possible, but dead if necessary. Zones. <laughs> yeah. Can we pull this trick again? Where did that commie rat scurry off to? Nope. It's okay. weird. Like the only soldiers are speaking Russian, but he doesn't. Yeah, he isn't really that tied to the Russian doctrine and all that. Plus, uh, it... Well, he speaks partial Russian, but it wouldn't much make much sense for us if he was only speaking Russian either. It would probably... No, they are already using a subtitle to understand what he's saying. So they could just have him speak Russian, then have the subtitle to say what he's saying. The, True. Wait, no, they they even they use Russian for this Russian soldiers as well, so Okay, never mind. It's it's likely due to story reasons. Yeah, it it, it is more interesting to when you can actually understand a character instead of having to well read when they're actually talking, since red text doesn't have any actual inflection and such to it. Okay. Give me that. Are you telling me you don't like subtitles? I appreciate them, but I would much rather prefer when I can actually understand when a, when a, yeah, when a character is saying something. Since that can also yeah. give a lot of the well, emotion and such to it. I, I'm used to both. Okay, we can't sometimes I feel like... It, the album is I feel like I'm glad I'm watching something subtitles. Like suddenly loud cars start driving past sure the house or something. Idea. How did they actually figure out that we got out in, in the first place? Probably went to the deliver food and realized that's not indie. That's that more risky. Go back in here. Uh, oh dear. Okay, I'm obviously missing something somewhere. It looks like. <clears throat> Actually. Yeah, either the game is bugged or we're not supposed to get back into that room after all. And as, as iffy as the game has been at certain points, it hasn't been very glitchy as the, when it comes to, like, doors getting stuck or anything like that. Yeah. But I guess that means the... 
the fans sure did a good, good job. When I posted this to the Gi Ugi. Yeah. Gi Ugi. Gi Ugi. Gi Ugi Gog. Wait, no, I should not call it Gog, but that's a type of demon. It's not responding at all, so I... Hmm. Okay, now I'm just... Could it be that's, that we are supposed to continue in there? If the blink... The marker is in that area, but I think that's above or something. Actually... No... Now we're just running in circles again. Is there anywhere here to get into the vents again? No. Also, I'm pretty sure that's an emergency uh, build uh, pump here. So for pumping out flood water and such. Makes sense. Okay, I am absolutely missing something. I don't think we can get back into the vents. Going invisible doesn't really help us at the moment. Yeah, I I get the feeling this this door might be glitched or something. Because we can't seem to be doing anything here. So... Yeah, let's load one back. Okay, put off kin. Okay, grab our stuff again. Our s not the fists. <laughs> uh, my trusted law firm, Smith & Wesson. My whip. I really don't feel like myself without it. And <laughs> India started the uh, ventriloquism. Okay. Nothing here. We'll have our little cutscene again. And yeah, the, his pupils are put, it's on the glasses when he has them on. Tobarish. John's Obijal. What? Retake him immediately. Alive if possible, but dead if necessary. Хорошо, sir. Yes, me. Did that guy look like a budget Spock? <laughs> okay. Where did that commie rat scurry off to? Let's see. Is there anywhere we can get around here? Oh. We can climb into the upper area, probably. Uh, question is where? Oh, I didn't actually expect we would reach that. And yeah, it looks like... It look does look like that the game uh, glitched out or something. And yeah, it didn't, like, didn't, didn't uh, let us out again. Where did they? There did they? Yeah, we have had it glitch, uh, had some kind of glitch before, like the sound glitches. True, but not to uh, stop getting stuck or getting blocked before. Yeah, but there was that, um, there was that block in the uh, volcano that refused to be pulled out. But that was the only one up until now. I was just to mention that. Is that all the weapons? No, no here is. Okay. Let's avoid what we had with No One Lives Forever and actually find our gear. Uh. Wait, what? In No One Lives Forever, 
in the uh, ship level, we, we one of the options oh. was to retrieve our gear, and we missed it. And uh, yeah, I don't think we want to lose all of the money that we've see it saved hey. up for all of the ammo. Yeah. This door is locked. See? Better find it, but yeah, uh, from all I thought you this said the wrong name of this game. Okay, is this one locked as well? No, it isn't. Okay, nobody's going to clean that up. This is a case of cleaning and repairing. Okay, some more. I think that's mold here. Uh, I think it's more just a part of the wall is completely rusted away or something. Can we open it from this, this side? This door is locked. No. Now we can see it again. Let's take a proper look. Yeah, yeah that's that... not only rust, that's rust and mold. And just the paint completely gone. Mm. Pardon? Probably could eat them by the mold. Did I see something on top of one of the boxes there? Uh, no, it's just the uh, reinforcing. Okay. Hey, it was a good arrow. It is a pit. Okay, I got a box. Nope. We're not just Shut there. Shut spine with a rifle and we're still going. Okay. Just slowly but surely getting our stuff back. Oh, there's a chest. Next to the chest. Uh, ne next to the chest. Next to the desk. The desk chest, desk chest, desk chest. <laughs> now, I was seeing if there was a thing that you can't say five times fast. It probably would be if I tried to say it any faster than that. Oh dear, don't give the internet more fuel. Stoy. Ah. Our favorite Macarena. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's one of the machine parts. Now what? A medical kit. Maracas. <laughs> I don't know you said that, but mistake you open on purpose. Purpose. <laughs> hmm. Actually, I. Th hmm. Where could we use it? Though I'm not sure if using it on a ship out at sea is a good idea or not. Is there any weakness in here? Also a small bit, detail bit. that I like is that the door opens up again once it bumps into you and doesn't force you inside or anything. I think this is a good thing. Okay, yeah, it, it, we, need to, we need to destroy the weakened wall. Oh, so that's why there's a... Rusty wall. Yep. Okay, we are about to avoid the ship's warranty. So let's go put down a save quickly. Closer. Ooh. You see that? A uh, bullet went right over our shoulder there. No, 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 it went past you here. Okay. Now, do we go up or down? The arrow... The marker suggests down. This one's locked, probably. Nope, it's now a shortcut back. Okay. Okay, that's where they were locked. They were moving into this area. I, I thought they crossed over to each other. Some more loot. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I don't know why, but for some reason I I like to uh, just have a, a small pile of coins ooh, on my ooh, on my desk at uh, a lot of times. I don't oh. know why. Probably because I <laughs> probably to have something to be neurotic with. Just uh, yeah. I beg your pardon. Something to be neurotic with. So like having it in my hand and just. Uh, Moving it around or something. Oh, okay. Then I, and I misunderstood the word then. Yeah. What did you think the word meant Look then? Look what I found. An idol. Do you hear yourself? Say the word again and take a guess. Neurotic. Yeah, it kind of sounds like another version of something lewd. Uh, I'm blanking on that at the moment then. Or I'm just teasing you. What have we here? Uh, Jones is going uh... to be able to pay for a lot of scholaries with all the loot he's grabbing here. And also I'm pretty sure that is going to put us in the room with uh, a favorite bespectacled Russian. It reminds me, I found a gift uh, uh, to share with you today, I guess. No. I'm gonna send it to you on Discord. Let's see. This looks like a bit more of a drop. Hmm. There okay, you go. That's a little send layers it. being put over each other now. Yeah, I can't really look it up at the moment since the game might crash from being swapped over. Oh, I know. You can look at it afterwards. Rain. At least I won't forget it. <laughs> okay, I think we need to go have a chat first before we can, or before we really should continue. Yeah. And we do suppose. Yeah, yeah. You can uh, give it a quick look uh, once we turn this game off. And yeah, we are almost at the end of the stream time, so let's go have yep. a chat. And after that, we'll probably have to call it. <clears throat> uh, after we raid someone, of course. I, speaking of, now I remember. Just the what are the what were the bloody odds of us raiding someone who were actually talking about this very damn game before we you know, <laughs> before we raided them? Yeah, that, that happened, people. We raided someone and they spoke about this game. Yeah, and they were actually talk they, they were talking about this game. Not, not when we raided them, but before we jumped in, like a few minutes before, they were actually talking about Indiana Jones and the Inferno Machine and the young Indiana Jones series. <laughs> what are the bloody odds of that? Yeah, what are the bloody odds? And they won't be raided? Wait, was it the one that you follow with raided? Uh, it was a new one we, uh, mm. we raided. <clears throat> All right. And, but still, okay. the odds. Yeah, what have we here? Yeah, now, now I'm starting to talk like Jones, and apparently we're not going to have a chat. What's this? A medical kit. This is very obviously his quarters. Okay, further up then, anything? Hmm. Still a, my jaw is still a Hello. bit off. Okay. Don't mind me just committing more vandalism. about to pick it up and then I saw them and well that is very obviously how we're getting out of this place but first we need the last part and our gear back so let's just continue raiding the ship this door is locked and yeah after a bit we're going to raid someone else then but timing <laughs> the yeah, exact moment just... I finished that line the stream timer <laughs> goes off I mean, you also say we just run out of time. 
Uh, we're just having a thing with timing today, huh? And yesterday. Yeah. Uh, still level 11.4. Quite a few levels in this game, huh? Yeah. Okay. Although the, each level it takes a quite a while to finish. There we go. Uh, I will turn that off. Then we move over here. And we go look for someone to raid. So we open up the browser. Yeah. Oh, don't forget this thing I sent you to this. No. The thing I sent onto you the Discord. Okay. Change the screen share and let's have a look. Uh, <laughs> Of course, <laughs> Tim Curry. <laughs> uh, if there isn't already an unofficial holiday uh, based on him, like his birthday or something, there needs to be one. <laughs> okay. That's a good question. Let's have a look. We have Cider Delish, who is streaming Genshin Impact. We have Nikos, uh, Nico Silverado, who is doing art again. Chaos D1 is streaming Romancelvania. Kazkuzuk is streaming Monster Sanctuary again. Uh, Dogged, Douglas, uh, Dogged Douglas McDog is doing art again. Life Crow is streaming Against the Storm. Derpy Doo is streaming Destiny 2. I'm a Flanker is playing Northguard. Todd Skeletail is playing Backpack Hero. A weird Romance is streaming Queern on Dying Thoughts. Can't say I've heard of that. And then we have Karenai, who is also streaming Monster Sanctuary. And Viking Blonde is online with Resident Evil 4. I'm presuming... A, okay, Tale of the Capcom 5, a Resident Evil 4 demo day. Okay, they're playing the demo of... Uh, <coughs> they're playing the demo of Resident Evil 4, the remake, I presume. Yep, it recently came out, the uh, demo... I've heard that it is actually, it is a, just a demo, but I have heard that people are liking it a lot. But it's also working from probably one of the best Resident Evil games out there. And the only one I think I've ever played or based on it, yeah. Oh dear. Uh, then we have two more. We have Big v, v, Big v Streams, who is, are still streaming Elder Scrolls Morrowind. And Halloween 4545 with Dead Estates. Okay, any of these sound interesting? Or shall we go raid uh, Viking Blonde to see what they've done with Resident Evil 4? Or look for a recommended? Let's go with Viking Blonde. Okay. Uh, let me double check that the... Yep. It, 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 yep. The browser is muted. So we just jump over. Copy the name. It uh, looks like they've only just started with it. They typically do a pre-stream, uh, a pre-game chat session, and they have been on for an hour, so they're probably just getting into the game itself. Yeah, uh, it said something about sponsored. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Slash raid and paste. But before we start the raid, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you as always for here. Welcome as Always, my friend. And let's see. We can do a stream tomorrow, possibly too. I don't want to stream too much in my free days. Um, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I, tomorrow we can probably do uh, start with a new side quest stream, which is what we've decided to name this the main and side streams as from now on: the main quest and the side quest. <laughs> with the current main quest being our block of Tomb Raider and Indiana Jones games. And the side quest, uh, well, Verkir has recently stated his interest in it, so anyone who has seen The Last Showcase Sunday will probably have a good guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but for now, uh, let's start this raid. And yeah, probably tomorrow, at least, you know, probably at least one stream... Uh, likely side stream or side quest stream. What for the other time? Uh, not sure. Maybe a bit more Minecraft. Maybe something else. Uh, maybe if ROM is available, we can finally continue with binary domain. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's see. Hopefully, sometime next week, 
uh, we will also be able to do our third Borderlands stream, but that will all still have to be planned in detail still. So for now, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for giant snakes. Not spit snakes. <laughs> Snakeception. Oh, good gods.